This is question five of the Edexcel SAMS, that's the Sample Assessment Materials Paper 2, Higher Tier for Physics. Um, and we've got a practical question. So a student uses the digital caliper to measure the length of a spring as shown in figure 10. This is a caliper, you use it more at A-level physics. The spring is bendy and difficult to measure. The student takes a six reading shown in figure 11. Calculate the average length of the spring. So. Average, I always add everything up and divide by two, but step one is to work out, are there any outliers? And I would say, yes, there are. This one here, 20.44, is very different to the rest of them. So I'd count that as an outlier and now ignore it. I'm not gonna use it again, it's an anomaly. So 20.31 plus 20.33 plus 20.30 plus 20.33 plus 20.30 divided by five gives me an average length of 20.314 millimeters, which seems about right. Part B, the student investigates the stretching of a spring with the equipment shown in figure 12. Um, the student investigates the extension of the spring using six different weights. The results are shown in figure 13. Draw a graph, graph for the readings. I'm gonna do it like this, um, using the grid shown. I'm gonna do this live. Um, I haven't worked this out before, so I want to show you how you do this. So for any of these questions, you always need to make sure you have a nice sensible scale that stretches across half the page. So it wants, it's gonna be a force extension graph. It's gonna write weight up here. So I need to write the title weight in Newtons and then extension in millimeters. And then must write those axes labels with the units. Um, now the weight goes up to 1.2, so I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I've just gotten two, just enough to say 0, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1, yep. 1, 1.2, and then the extension goes up to 24, so I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, 24 divided by 6 is 4. So 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, yep, that works. So 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. I've got my axes labels. And I need to plot this graph. So 0 0.2 goes with 4, 0 0.4 goes with 8, this is pretty easy. 0 0.6 goes with 12, 0 0.8 goes with 16, 1. I've done something wrong there, I can tell straight away. Yep, there, so that's the wrong one. 1 goes with 20 and 1.2 goes to 24. Um, I would always do this in pencil. I'm doing it in a pen so it's easier for you to see. And then you're gonna draw your line of best fit, which, which for this is a perfect line straight through the origin, which is convenient for the next question. The student writes this conclusion. The extension of the spring is directly proportional to the weight stretch in the spring. Comment on the student's conclusion. The student is correct. Because the graph is a straight line through the origin, which proves direct proportionality. So anytime you've got a straight line through the origin, you're saying that the x, that's the x, sorry, and y variables are directly proportional to each other. So moving on to the final part of this question, part C. Uh, the student extends the investigation by finding information about the stretching of wires, so not a spring here. Uh, the student finds a graph shown in figure 14 for the stretching of a wire. Describe the non-linear stretching of the wire shown in figure 14. Now the non-linear stretching starts at this point here. This is linear, just like this one, and it becomes non-linear. So I'm gonna write that down. I'm gonna say non-linear, um, the graph is non-linear. past four millimeters extension. From here, now if we think about it, before, to get four millimeters of extension, we had to add in 35 newtons. Then to get to eight, which is another four, I only have to add in about seven more newtons. So I'm getting a lot more stretch for not much more force. So from here, there are large increases In extension for small increases in force up 
to a peak at, well the peak is about here, approximately 12 millimetres. Now after 12 millimetres it's still extending even though the force is reducing. So after this the wire continues to extend even when the force is reduced. until extension reaches, we can work this out about, so 12, 14, 14, so this here would be, sorry, 16, 18, so that's about 16.5, so 16.5 millimetres when the wire breaks. Now you don't need to have all of this in the answer to get the full marks, you need about two thirds of it, the points kind of, there's three possible points to make and you can get three marks for two of them.